Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of feeling alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Radyo Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Memorare to St. Joseph Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who asked for your help and sought your intercession was left unaided. Full of confidence in your power, I hasten to you and beg your protection. Listen, O foster father of the Redeemer, to my humble prayer, and in your goodness, hear and answer me. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Radio Katipunan. Today is the 19th of March, 2024, a Tuesday, the Solemnity of St. Joseph, husband of Mary and patron saint of the Society of Jesus. Today, we also celebrate the fourth anniversary of our Keep the Faith daily Mass community. Let us all rise as we welcome our Mass celebrant this morning, Reverend Father René Habiliana of the Society of Jesus with the singing of our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we take a break from the Purple of Lent to celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph, the, who is the spouse of the Virgin Mary and protector of the Church. In the liturgical celebration of the Church, there are three levels of saints' feasts. The highest level is solemnity. That's mostly dedicated only to the Virgin Mary, to St. Joseph, to John the Baptist, and to the Apostles Peter and Paul. Then there's a feast, and then there is a memorial. Because it's a solemnity, we don today the white vestments of joy as we, in a very special way, approach St. Joseph on his feast and pray for him in a very special way, for he is not only the, the one to whom we dedicated, um, 
Keep the Faith of Radyo Katipunan some four years ago, but also he is the patron of the Society of Jesus of the Jesuits. Because it is a solemnity, we will pray, we will pray the Gloria and we will pray the creed, the creed but we will recite, because it is, a, it is a weekday, we recite the shorter creed or the Apostles' Creed. So let us now prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries by asking God to forgive us our sins and bring us to his kingdom as we honor St. Joseph, uh, whose feast is today. Lord Jesus, you are son of Mary and foster son of Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, through Joseph, you were born of the tribe of David. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Joseph continues to protect the church, which is your family, as he protected your own in Nazareth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. With great joy, let us honor St. Joseph as together we pray glory to God in the highest highest. and and on earth peace to people people of of goodwill. We We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we we glorify you, we give give you thanks for your great glory. Lord Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God, God, Almighty Father, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you entrusted to his faithful care. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the Word of God. The Lord God will give him the throne of David. The first reading, a reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name. And I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Let our response be, the son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. Abraham believed, hoping against hope. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith 
so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was cre credited to him as righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus came about, when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a just man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. The two most popular names, of course, in the Philippines are Jose or Joseph and Juan or John. So to all of those who are named Joseph, and maybe there's a lot of watching our television program right, uh, right now in Radio Katipunan, warmest greetings to you all in, the, in, uh, in Europe. The, the, the names... Uh, of your name is uh, this, the feast's name you, is uh, be, your name is being celebrated is called onomastico, and in Italy onomastico is more important than your birthday, not not the day you're born, but the day of your saint. Also today, the, the 20th of March in 2020, Radio Katipunan was born. It broadcasted its first pandemic live stream, Keep the Faith. We started from a cramped makeshift studio to a larger but, more, but generic studio on its, on its own, and now our own chapel studio. Keep the Faith has been broadcasting for the past four years. In 2024, it will enter its fifth year or half a decade of sharing the Eucharist. Initially, it was all online, but now we're online and face-to-face, -face, as are the people here right now in our studio chapel. We dedicated the Radio Katipunas Mass to the patronage of St. Joseph as the patriarch of the church and its protector as he was protector of the Holy Family. The Gospel tells us very little about Joseph, but that is enough to paint a picture of him as a holy person dedicated to serving God, doing God's will. The Gospels describe Joseph as just or righteous. This is a loaded title because just in the Bible isn't limited to dealing fairly with one's neighbor, but it is rather a person who follows the Torah, the covenant with the Lord and its commandments. The just shall flourish like the palm tree, says the Psalms, because it is planted near flowing waters. These streams are God's dealing with human beings. Because Joseph is just, he decides to legitimize Jesus and his union with Mary after he receives the angelic message in a dream. This earns him the title foster father of Jesus or human father of Jesus. Human father because God is the true and divine father. Now a historical note. 
fostering someone in biblical times had even more weight than ours today. Fostering we associate with adopting orphans. But in biblical times, especially in the Roman Empire, it was not enough to be born of a human father, but the father had to legally recognize an offspring as his own. Thus, Octavian, who accedes, accedes Julius as Caesar or, or, or king or emperor, was not the son of Julius Caesar, but rather he was a nephew. When Caesar adopted Octavian as his son, he secured his line in the succession. Octavian eventually adopted the regal name Augustus, which is we know him in the Bible. St. Paul makes much of adoption, of divine adoption. While we were still far off, he says, God came to us and adopted us as his children. By adopting the son of Mary, Jesus, Joseph rescues the son and mother from being ostracized by society. Joseph the dreamer. Joseph the rescuer recalls another biblical Joseph, favorite son of Jacob, to whom he gave a coat of many colors. Envious of his position, his brothers sell him as a slave to the Ishmaelites, who sell him, as, who sell him in Egypt. Sold to Putifar, imprisoned on false charges, he makes a dramatic comeback and rises in the Egyptian hierarchy, where he supervises the bumper crop of seven years, stores them in warehouses, to meet a predicted seven year of famine. Famine brought Joseph's sons to Egypt, uh, Jacob's sons to Egypt in search of grain. The rest of the story you know. How Joseph rescued his family and father from famine and installed them in Goshen, where Jacob's descendants, the Hebrews as they were known, flourished. Another of Jacob's, Joseph's rescue happens after an angel warns him again in a dream. Joseph seemed to like to go to sleep a lot of times. Told him that Herod was after his son, so he flees to Egypt for safety. And again, in a dream, there's Joseph sleeping again. Okay. So the angel tells Joseph it is safe to return. Because he is protector and rescuer, the church entrusts vocations to St. Joseph. In the Jesuit visit at Novaliches, there burns a lamp tended by novices in front of St. Joseph's statue in the novices' uh, secret garden. It is a prayer for vocations in the church. Then there is Joseph the worker, whose feast is celebrated on the 1st of May. It celebrates the necessity and dignity of work against a capitalist ethos, ethos that values work only for its monetary value. Or communism, that subsumes the individual effort and creativity in the collective. Work, admittedly, is difficult, but it is enriching. As a worker, the Gospels refer to Joseph as the father of Jesus, whose work is a carpenter. The English is a very poor translation of the Greek, which says that Joseph is a technon. Technon means anyone involved in construction. Now, the first century house where Jesus lived in and Joseph lived in was largely limestone, mortar together. There's not much to carpenter there. Wood was used as unhewn timber for a roof over which was laid a reed floor and then thatch and a final layer of mud and lime. Wood was used for stairs, for the support of the flooring of mezzanine, and for furniture. It is most likely that Joseph and son whom he taught the trade was familiar with stone and lime as they were with wood. With Joseph the worker, we see divine blessing on human labor, in particular manual labor, which is slowly being eased out by technology. And finally, there is Joseph, the patron of a happy death. It is assumed that Joseph had died prior to Jesus' public ministry because he does not figure in the Gospels in Jesus' public ministry. Unlike Mary, who seeks for Jesus, is present at the cross, and at Pentecost, Joseph is gone. So it assumed that he had already died at this, at this point. Death, Joseph's death is called happy because it is believed that he died in the company of Jesus and Mary. So Joseph's solemnity we celebrate today, 
accompanies us in our lives, protecting our family and the church, calling forth vocations, blessing our work, and being with us when it is time to say a final goodbye. Once again, we commend to the patron of St. Joseph, Radio Katibunan Skip the Faith, as it begins his fifth year. With Joseph's intercession, we pray that those who connect with Keep the Faith may be protected from all harm and given all the gifts of body and spirit and the blessings of the Lord. Happy Feast. St. Joseph is, just, is, a, is a just man, the wise and loyal servant whom God placed at the head of the family. Let us pray to our Father in heaven to grant our petitions through his intercession. Our response will be, Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. Let us all rise. Father, Father in heaven, Jesus. listen to the prayers of your children. All Holy Father, you reveal the mystery of the Savior to Joseph. The just man, make us always ready to do your will, we pray. Father in heaven, let's, let listen to the prayers of your children. You made Saint Joseph the guardian of the Redeemer and his most holy mother. Through the intercession of Saint Joseph, protect the church, your son, redeemed by his blood, we pray. Father in heaven, let listen to the prayers of your children. You rescued St. Joseph from his distress through an angel in a dream. Help us in our anxiety for our daily needs and in our concern for our family and loved ones, we pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. Your son labored with St. Joseph as a carpenter in Nazareth. Attend to the needs of workers and may they receive a just reward for their labors, we pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. St. Joseph died assisted by Jesus and Mary. Through his intercession, look kindly on the dying and the dead and grant them your mercy, especially for the repose of the souls of Rosa Uy, Horacio and Josefa de la Rama, Dr. Rafi Dizan, Lovell Rocco, Jose Jose Ray, Aldrin, Veronica Muleta, Maria Irian Eliego, Glenn Granados, and Don Don Santiago, we pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays. Jose C. Hizon, Jose Aniceto, Marica Rivera Tan, Father Joseph Patrick Echeverria, S.J., and John Castaneda, we pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. We pray for the healing of Annie Hizon, Cherry Ocampo, Michelle Salvador, Estela Marina Garcia, Tisha Aganon, Karina Ali, Abby Puno, Seth Verhel de Dios, JPR, Faye Imbala, Bisha Mojica, Joan Mayor and Detty Morales, Mardonia Maso, Juan Ong, Bernard Tan Chan, Jose Marie Ong, Juanita Nang Chi, Robert Chua, Gail Santos, Eloisa Cortez, and Mrs. Teresa Cruz, we pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. We also pray for the special intentions of Jari and Chi Valcarcel, Bojet and Eden Rabena, Eusebio and Adele Rabena, Nightingale Keys, Pat Ignacio Tan, Marie Keys and Family, Violet, Dennis Tan, Reg and Didit Rodrigo on their wedding anniversary, Rose Gonzaga, Kat Carlos, Hans and Susan Santos, Sandy Maisa Bautista, Jet and Ada, Nate and Hans, Elo Santiago, Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Cell, Butch and Nelia Nazareno, J.P. and Hill, Annie Bautista, Gianna and Matthews, 
Lucas Imbala, Marlon and Faye Imbala, Bebot Araneta, Patrick and Inigo, Carl and Chase, J.D. Ong, Gio Ong Erica King, Juliana Ong, Annie Francisco, Gigi Alonte, Janine, Jenny Calianta, and Lea Castillo. And we also pray for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages and Jescom and Radio Katipunan. We pray. Father in heaven, listen to the prayers of your children. Let us pray. Almighty God, St. Joseph, watch like a father to your only begotten son. May he also watch over your church in her journey to you until the faithful share the joy of the saints in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on the solemnity of St. Joseph and to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and to bless you. For this just man was given by you a spouse of the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and set us a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, to him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim to, together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, as in humble praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, Holy Father, we celebrate the memorial of, your, of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you have led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Look with favor the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and granted by the power of the spirit of your love and be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope, Onesa our Bishop, and all the bishops, priests, and deacons, the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, and to all people, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters, especially those who would like to remember at this Mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the apostles and martyrs, Saints Ignatius, Francis Xavier, and Peter Faber, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us prepare to receive Jesus in our hearts as together we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Give us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Mercifully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with your spirit. Peace each other, sign of Christ's peace. Peace to, peace all. to everyone. Peace to my sisters, peace. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, he is the Father's gift to us, he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Well done, good and faithful servant. Come and share your master's joy. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us pray, defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray. The family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice in the solemnity of St. Joseph, graciously keep them safe with your gifts among them to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may God Almighty bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Happy Feast of St. Joseph. Thank you.